This week on New Homes Guide TV, decisions, decisions, how to nail the style you love for your new home. Perfect look, perfect cook, the kitchen where classes come standard, and the top tips every home builder needs to know. Hit it out of the park with this one. You're always whinging about what I do. I want to show him up any chance I can. G'day, thanks for joining us. This week, we are going to start right at the beginning. Those first moments when the home of your dreams is still just a twinkle in the eye. Uh-huh. Maybe you want a big build or you're thinking renovation. You know there's a lot of planning and research involved and if you don't have time for that, no stress. That's why we're here. We'll take you through things like colours, styles, trends and technology, everything you can imagine right here on New Homes Guide TV. Enjoy. Last week on the show, Justin spoke to the BGC team about smart wiring in new homes and we also heard about Clipsal's new iconic smart Bluetooth switch and how they're set to change the world. What we can do with the Bluetooth Iconic switches is really enable some very, very functional things via a smartphone app. This week, the guys are taking me to meet the home automation experts. Tim, great, great, to, great to meet you. Same to you. So, mate, this is the home of the future of technology, hey? This is it. This is Intelligent Home. So what we put in homes as standard with our fibre cabling and control links enables Tim to do a better job with our clients to build on to their home in the future with technology. And we're straight into it. Voice control is where all this technology is heading. Hey Google, turn on CCTV. All right. And so basically what will happen here is the product itself will talk to the products in the cupboard and then it will actually change the input of the TV over to our CCTV recorder so we can see what's going on. So clients want to be able to control their blinds, lighting, electrical, energy management, sound, security systems. You come home from work and the kids are really wanting to watch TV straight away and you're still carrying the shopping. Being able to tell that it's a little simple command uh, and do it for you is true automation. A lot of the stuff over the years has got a lot cooler. I mean you can have a go yourself. So what do I do? Uh, so we go, hey Google. Hey Google, open the blinds. Wow, that's amazing. Future proofing is what it's all about and that's why BGC put fibre cabling in their new homes. The bad thing is once this conduit's in the wall, you can, you can replace the cabling, can't you, or add cabling or whatever, you've got the opportunities to expand what goes in it. But if it's not there in the first place, I imagine it's a bit of a nightmare to put in. For you to install a cable or replace it, you know, basically you have to gouge the entire wall, which is a very messy and, and costly process. So where conduits are required, uh, we're definitely including them as a standard in regards to enable that upgradability in the future. And the tech can do more than just turn things on and off. Smart homes can actually save you money a lot of benefit, security features, and I think one of the key things is energy efficiency. So these little types of products, uh, along with the cabling that we already put in the house, really brings it all together. So Tim, these things look pretty groovy, don't they? They are. These here are known as your acoustic wall treatments, um, and they're generally the missing link when it comes to a theatre system. So the absorbers, when the actual sound hits it, it'll basically absorb it through and minimise the amount of sound reflection back into the room, uh, whereas the diffusers will scatter that sound. Probably the cutting edge is, at this point in time, um, is things like the voice navigation and then the internet of things is the is what people are talking a lot about. I think we're heading to a space where things are going to be more connected together, uh, more connected devices in the home and of course the internet of things allows us to bring other products together as we've never seen before. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. That's it. Thanks Tim. If you love New Homes Guide TV, find us on social media. Imagine this, the home of your dreams, within your budget, but is it even possible? Building a home is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll make in your life. And sticking to a budget can sometimes be stressful, and with specifications of homes constantly changing, what do you do? Well, we've hunted down a Perth builder who says they have a what you see is what you get approach. We kind of pride ourselves on the fact that you know, the tap where you see in the ensuite is the tap where that you would receive in your house. And 
some of the brands they include might astound you. Interior design and design team, uh, we are constantly amending our, our standard specification and our standard offerings to, to go with current trends and kind of what's most popular. And that's why we, you know, we're using companies such as Smeg, Laminex and Clipsal because they are the current in things, so we put them in our homes as standard. So that's the home covered. But what about the things you can't see, like site works? A lot of the uh, new estates uh, that we sell homes through, uh, we also have fixed site works costs, which means that what you sign up for, the price won't change unless you want to add something to the home at a later date. This display is called the Zenica, and it's 220 square metres of home. Grant feels you should come down and take a look for yourself and check out what's on offer. The display is in the Perth suburb of Treby. We built this home is because it's been quite a good seller for us that in clients always ask, can I walk through a home? So we, we've built that uh, to, to, to showcase, I guess, what the clients can, can expect. This home is an entertainer's dream. Simply open up the door to combine the kitchen and living space with this beautiful alfresco area your friends and family will just love. The minor bedrooms are at the front of the home, along with a study and a theatre. And the kitchen even has a unique spot in the home to maximise space. This house, we've cleverly designed it with the kitchen off to the side, which allows us to increase the living dining area, because it's the heart of the home where the majority of the family will spend most of their time. Go Home's displays are open across Perth, and there's always a consultant to answer any of your questions. So why not pop in and see them today? Up next on New Homes Guide TV, Anne-Marie explores a whole new world of stuff. A home should reflect a lifestyle and, depending on what you're after, there's a mind-boggling number of options. And this week, we've rediscovered a cost-effective product that looks so good you are going to have to see it to believe it. What's your style? Is it Hamptons or classic, maybe industrial? Well, whatever look you're after, I found a product that will suit, no matter what your budget is. Laminex has been around for more than 80 years and there's more than 190 basic colours available, not to mention all the textured products which suit the emerging trend of nature. Textures are certainly becoming much more on trend, um, achieving the rough textures of raw timbers. We have a number of concrete finishes in the Essa Stone range that mimic the soft glow of concrete. Today, I've arrived at Laminex in Osborne Park to learn how to get the kitchen of my dreams on any budget. And to help demonstrate, I've enlisted the help of BGC's interior designer from Studio Colt to help me out. So Courtney, tell me a bit about this kitchen. We have a standard laminate bench top uh, with a standard laminate door as well. The end of the island bench, we're also using a laminate finish. Due to Laminex's extensive range, you can transform this cost-effective kitchen in your chosen style to a premium kitchen with a few changes. This is our first upgrade range kitchen, which has a Essa Stone bench top included. This is a great way of um, creating longevity in a kitchen. It's really important, especially in a residential sense, to think of the next buyer. There's also detailed and overhead cupboards, and then you can upgrade again. This is our highest spec kitchen. We have the upgraded Essa Stone bench tops, which have a 30 mil thickness. We've also wrapped that around to the end of the island as well and created a waterfall end. There's also a gloss finish on the doors with negative detailing for the handles. Very fancy. I love this kitchen, but what if it is that little bit out of my price range? What can you do? We can always uh, tone it down a little bit. So finishes like a gloss are fantastic, but Laminex has created a uh, different ranges of the same colour. So we can always tone it down and go back to a standard finish. Also reducing the width of the Essa Stone back down to a 20 mil yep. reduces that cost a little bit too. So you really can get the look you want within your budget by either scaling the products up or down. All of the staff here in the Laminex showroom are qualified interior designers and they can help you achieve um, all sorts of different looks but through the different grades of materials that we have on offer. For more information, head to Laminex's website.
more information, go to newhomesguide.com.au. Say hello to the Amalfi by National Homes. Just like a coastal Italian city, this home's design has a relaxed and luxurious feel to it. It's a modern take on a coastal interior. Uh, it also is really successful because it's quite timeless as well. This five bedroom home is both modern and versatile. It was designed for the perfect family package with bedrooms down the back, the master at the front and a theatre for movie nights. And if you're into entertaining, then this designer kitchen, scullery and the seamless indoor outdoor entertaining area will impress your guests. National Homes says when it comes to luxury, they leave no detail spared. National Homes has a, a prestigious name about it. It's the flagship brand of the BGC Residential Group. And so the quality and the high specification uh, that we're able to put into our homes is very rewarding and our customers definitely enjoy that. Jared says in every national home, you'll now find smeg appliances, stone bench tops and quality finishes throughout, which in the long run could really pay off important in especially a residential interior to think about a resale point of view. Most clients will build a home with the intent eventually to resale so we just want to make sure that, that home will cater to the next client or a larger group of people who are looking at the home. So if the home's quality has ticked all your boxes but there's some changes you want to make, that's not a problem. BGC Residential's premium brand. We know that the customers we're dealing with they have their own ideas and their own wants and needs. Uh, so our designers will sit down at the table, look at the ideas and put together a design that suits their individual lifestyle. Listening to the client, that's definitely the most important thing. Taking on board what a client wants, what they're looking for in a home, it's the biggest investment that they're going to make. So we have to make sure that we're listening to what they want. BGC's interior designers are on hand to make sure you get the home of your dreams. Always add in features like artwork, uh, feature paint or furniture, um, but the things that are going to stay in the house, it's important to make sure that they will last longer than a trend. To find out more about National Homes, head to their website. Up next, the top tips every home builder needs to know. Welcome back to New Homes Guide TV. Today I'm going to show you something pretty unique, a dual living home. Confused? Well, come and take a look. On paper, you'd call this home a 4x3. But really, it's more like a two-in-one home. This one is a dual occupancy design. It gives you a three by two in the first dwelling in the home, and then in the second dwelling, you've got a one by one. To make this design work, there's two front doors and some added extras so you can transform it into two homes. Two uh, driveways uh, for each entry, and also a double garage and a single um, carport. The home is called The Reef, and it sits on a corner block in Vass in WA's southwest. And from the street, it looks pretty funky with a down south coastal vibe. So people look for the down south lifestyle to reflect their home design. So they look for either that country living or coastal beachside living, as opposed to someone in the city who's probably looking for functionality in their design. The outside coastal inspired design flows perfectly through the inside of this 539 square metre home. The double doors inside lead out to a relaxed alfresco area. The two dwellings are connected, but that can also change. You can have a, um, access through the middle of the property to both dwellings, or you can actually have that blocked off so that you just come through the front or the second entry um, to your own space. Located in the heart of the wine region and close to the beach, there's a few reasons people may be looking to invest in dual living homes. So you've got all of your endless opportunities with it being a dual occupancy home. So it's a great investment, whether you're renting it out or living with other family members. The prospects don't stop there. It could also be a granny flat or even a teenager's retreat. They're very innovative. Um, this design in particular is, is a, a standout innovation that's very unique and a lot of people are loving seeing something different. To find out more about this home or to see other unique houses, head to the BGC Southwest website. To see all of our episodes, go to newhomesguide.com.au.
like a book, you shouldn't judge a home by its cover. Because from the outside, you may not realise just how much clever design is hidden inside. Block sizes across Perth are becoming more and more restricted. We have to be smarter now, you know. Uh, Perth is shrinking, now surprisingly enough. We can't just keep going up and down the length of the coast. So builders are designing homes for smaller blocks. Not only do smaller blocks slow down the urban sprawl, but they can also provide potential homeowners with an absolute bargain. And it's not just that the land could be cheaper because you don't need as much. It's also because builders are now coming up with space-saving and cost-effective designs. Homes, we believe the way we approach the process makes us stand out from, from the rest of the pack. Uh, it is about being transparent, about delivering absolute value uh, to all of our buyers. Simon is showing me around this display. It's called the Gosling. This three by two home is designed for the budget conscious buyer in mind. And Simon explains this home's unique design and price tag is winning new home buyers over. It is one of our most popular designs. Jesse, probably the, uh, the key feature of this home is the price point. So as part of our approach, which is very transparent, very much what you see is what you get, this display home can be put on the ground for less than $150,000. Simon says his team carefully think about how they can maximise the living space in the home and use every square metre to its fullest potential. A few tricks to add more space. Well, there's 31 core ceilings, open space living areas, and there's even international influence. Just like Europe, a laundry packed into a cupboard. How clever. And Commodore Homes are more than happy to custom any of these homes to suit your needs. We're looking for absolute bang for buck, if you were looking for the best possible value proposition, and that's something that we are very confident that we are simply unbeatable at, uh, then you can't go past Commodore Homes. Stay tuned, stylish and coordinated. The kitchen appliances guaranteed to make your friends look twice. Injecting style and elegance into a home is about so much more than just the cushions you throw on a couch. It's about the colour of the walls, the furniture, and what can really make a difference is the good old workhorses on show in your kitchen. Yeah. When it comes to style, there's one appliance brand which aims to catch your eye. Out with the bland and in with the grand. Smeg appliances are changing the way we style our kitchens. Its products give customers the choice to inject style and fun into the hub of the home. It's really exciting when you get a new appliance. But what if you don't know how it works? Well, I found a solution. With technology changing constantly, so do the different functions on appliances. So a good way to learn about the different functions is to head along to a demonstration. So the product demonstrations, we run on a weekly basis. And for customers that are new to the Smeg brand, they're an excellent opportunity to familiarise themselves with the operation of the product and get the most out of their cooking results. Today, we are cooking up a storm. There's pizza, salmon, and for dessert, the good old Aussie pavlova. And to cook each one, we're going to use a different technique. Smeg have got a whole range of different ovens available. So we've got the classic range that you can see here. We've got the linear range, which is the more modern styling with the glass sort of looking surface. There's the Victoria range, which is the old fashioned looking, beautiful enameled finish. And we've just got the new Portofino range that you can get with either a gas or an induction cooktop. With all of our ovens, you are able to get a gourmet cooking stone. So what it essentially does is turns that oven into the equivalent of a wood-fired pizza oven. The cooling fan and the cooling through the door and around the outside of the oven is protecting your cabinetry, keeping that cool, and it's keeping the front of the door cool. So even if you're on a pyrolytic cooking function and it's at 500 degrees, that door will still be safe to touch. 
and builders such as BGC Residential are turning to this brand, not only because it's stylish, but because of the ongoing support for their customers. So for us, it's not just about having a, a great relationship with BGC, it's about having a great relationship with the customers of BGC. So we really want to invite them down to the showroom to engage with our team here and really understand what the product can do for them. Smeg is now standard in all BGC residential homes and the builder recommends its clients to take part in these opportunities. For more information on these demonstrations, head to the SMEG website. For more information, go to newhomesguide.com.au. Getting finance to build your first, second or even third home can sometimes seem a little overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. That's why this week we are talking to Simon from The Loan Company. Basically I run a, a team of brokers, uh, a team of mortgage brokers that look after the clients that build homes through the BGC brands. Simon says using a mortgage broker has real advantages over just talking to your bank. The banks only offer one suite of products. The Loan Company says they have a panel of over 30 lenders to choose from and they say that means you can get a better deal and a product which could be more suited to helping you achieve your goals. Having access to many lenders allows us to pick the right uh, loan for you, meaning you, you may only need two or three thousand dollars to get started. There's a lot of talk about the need to have a 20% deposit to be able to get finance to build your home. But according to Simon, that's just not the case. There are a number of low deposit options available. Generally, it's around the, the 5% deposit mark is what's required. But even if you can't get that together, don't give up. There are still other options which may be worth exploring. But we're also quite lucky in WA to have access to, to Keystar. Uh, Keystar is a government-owned bank that only exists in WA. Uh, their deposits, uh, the, the deposit required is, is only 2%. Each of the BGC brands have access to the loan company and are able to offer its services to their customers. The main drivers for Commodore in, in tackling affordability is also being able to solve a range of finance problems. That includes looking at past finance trouble, current levels of debt and even simple things like making sure it's affordable over the build. Like trying to pay rent and make repayments during the process. We can solve that problem for you, get you into the home uh, with nothing to pay and, and until the day that you move in. To find out more about the options that could be open to you, contact the loan company direct. You'll find them at theloanco.com.au. There's definitely something comforting and, uh, and satisfying about owning your own home. Uh, and we're, we're quite lucky here in Perth where yeah, it is quite affordable. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on New Homes Guide TV. We'll catch you next time for more inspiration, ideas and maybe even that little shove you need to get your dream home or project underway. See you then.